Naya Rivera was a triple threat talent on Glee. She could act, she could sing. Girls, you know you better. Watch out. And boy, could she dance. But on July 8th, 2020, everything would change. It was a beautiful morning. I, I missed two of her FaceTime calls and I called her back and I, I said, Naya, where are you? She's like, oh. Me and Josie were gonna go to the lake and I was gonna have them fish. And do you remember what you said in those final FaceTime I, I told her, I go, well, the water's getting choppy. And I said, I love you and uh, call me. Uh, call me when you get off the water. Yolanda talked to her daughter from that rented pontoon boat as the devoted single mom set out for adventure on Lake Piru with her son. But hours later, the then four-year-old Josie was found by another boater asleep, adrift, alone wearing a life vest. Naya was gone. He told us, he said, don't worry, we have Josie, but your, your daughter's missing. And it was almost like a force. I don't know what it was, but I literally, I was just pushed backwards, just screaming. For five grueling days, rescue teams searched day and night, the Glee family holding vigil lakeside. We saw people holding vigil, people holding hands, sending prayers. What were those days like for you guys? Those first five days were hell. Awful. Hell on earth. Hell on yeah. earth. My faith told me that uh, nothing is missing. Surely not a person. Yes, we, we just can't find them. So that was my, my thing. God, you know where she's at. Just bring her back to us. Thank God I took the pictures because they were able to look at the topography of the land to locate where they were. Do you took screenshots? I took screenshots of, of the FaceTime call. Niall was found six days later. Investigators believe she managed to save her son, but then drowned accidentally. Her younger sister, Nikayla, moving in with the boy's father, the fashion model now helping to raise little Josie. He literally asked you to come be with him and live with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew right when it happened and right when we got him, I knew the role that I had to take. Now I see Josie and it's almost like, it, it's so reminiscent because he's like a boy version of her in every sense of the word. In what way? Uh, uh, just his tenacity, his yeah. drive, his zeal, his adventure for life. He's just, he's, he's Naya and in boy loves, form. Yeah. He loves entertaining. Yes. He loves singing <laughs> at the top of his lungs. From a young age, Naya was a force to be reckoned with. But her breakout role, Glee's Santana Lopez, an openly queer Latina. Because all I want to be able to do is kiss my girlfriend, but I guess no one can see that because there's such an insane double standard at this school. You know, I honestly don't think that she even knew the impact that she had. People would come up to her all the time and say, you saved my life. My sister, even though she was acting, was touching people's real lives and helping them become who they really are and not being ashamed of that. Today, Yolanda hopes that Naya's life leaves one lasting message. I would like my daughter's, Naya's legacy to be one that teaches people to love. Love who you are, because you don't get another life. And of course, Naya had no greater love than for her son, Josie. And they say the five-year-old is a talented performer, just like Naya. And while he misses his mother deeply, they tell him, mom's watching over you from heaven, and we are going to take care of you here on Earth. And Rob and the family really more than anything wanted to express their gratitude for the outpouring of love mm. they've gotten over the past year.